What's up, everybody, and welcome back to more Roller Coaster Tycoon. Today we're going to be doing Katie's World. Apparently, Katie has a world, and that world is a small theme park with a few rides and room for expansion. Your aim is to double the park value. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. So you have to achieve a park value of at least $15,000 at the end of October year three. So, go in here, check out our park value, which is 9095 or yeah, $9,095.20. And we already have a lot of puke going on, I can already see. Whoa, look at this roller coaster. That's pretty cool. So it just kind of slopes. Goes up a second hill, goes straight for a while, and does all this craziness. I'm thinking, let's check the price. Okay. Jack up this price, definitely. People don't necessarily need to buy these on-ride uh, expenses, so... I like to charge a lot for them. What's over here? Ooh. The Runaway Plumber? That's a... Weird name for a ride. So, underground view. Oh, that's underwater view. Underground view. Whoa. Wait, is that... Is that outside of the park? It totally looks outside of the park. So can you build underground outside of your park? I don't get it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, we've got a decent bit of time, plenty of things to work with right off the bat, and that makes me happy. So, let's start off by looking through all the people. I love all you people, you give me money, but now I need to see through you. So, can figure out what we have to work with as far as maintenance and cleaning and whatnot. So, we're going to have a guy dedicated to this area. I guess they're hungry and can't find anywhere to eat. We'll have to deal with that momentarily. A ride, an amusement park with all these awesome rides and you don't have anywhere to eat. It's probably nowhere to use the bathroom either. Yeah, we're just going to have you patrol right through there. And I will come back to that in just a second. But my people need me. First needs come first. And first need calls for food. Luckily, we have food. Uh, I guess an okay place to put one, but we're going to put down some more. Let's make sure we've got our research going properly. Uh, we're going to turn these off for now. I want to get stalls, and I want to get roller coasters and thrill rides. And we're going to jack this up to max funding. Uh, we're also going to take out as many loans as possible. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of money to work with. That makes me happy. Pizza for everybody. Pizza everywhere. I know you people love pizza. At least I sure hope you do. Because you're about to get a lot of it. It's going to be there, and it's going to be over here. And it's going to be right down here. Actually, I probably shouldn't put it right there, because then people are going to puke even more. Don't want to stick them next to roller coasters, so we'll stick it over here. I don't know if that's close enough, but it's probably not. We're probably fine. Uh, not that far. Actually, there's a place right there to eat. The park is kind of small, and yet not that small, so it's perfect. Whoops. That ain't gonna work. I can't imagine what the mechanics were thinking when they put that there. Get a bunch of uh, construction workers there like, this is totally not gonna work out. And then all of a sudden we realize that we built it in the wrong place. I can't imagine what the logistics team was thinking. Just trying to get our necessities in place. No reason we can't charge a dollar for a park map. Come on. People need to stop being so cheap. We'll stick that right there, and we will stick a bathroom right about there, and we'll be putting down some more bathrooms as well. Make sure that they are free. Because nobody wants to pay for a bathroom. Not in America. I'm assuming this game is in America. It's kind of hard to tell. It's like a 
a land of no genders because these people, how am I supposed to tell if they're male or female? They all look the same. But apparently there are differences. You can set names for them, so. I don't know why they didn't just set the names on by default. Instead, we have to deal with guest numbers. We live in some weird unisex world where nobody has names, they just have numbers. It's like Hitman all over again. One of these right there. All right, toilets galore. Now let's go back to what I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted by these guests. And that was to see through the rides, see through the scenery, see through the supports, see through the people. Ain't nobody got time to see any of that. And we're gonna stick you right along this path over here. And just da, 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 da. not gonna give you too much surface area. Just enough to make sure we cover some ground. So that way, I don't have to manually come through here and clean everything. You do not need to mow the lawns. The lawns will be just fine. They practically mow themselves in this game. All right, so that's good for you. I want to set this all up right off the bat so we don't even have to think about it anymore. One of the more tedious bits of the game. So you'll just go right down here in case anybody pukes from riding the swans. A little bit of seasickness. We'll clean that right up for you. No! No! You do not mow lawn. That's a bad handyman. You do not mow lawn. You do not mow lawn. Just plopping these down. And just plopping them down. Let's see underground. Okay, I'll just kind of stick them right around in here. I'm assuming that will hit our target because it's kind of hard to see where those are and how they line up. But that should do the trick. Let's make sure we've covered all the surface area. Surface area is covered. 10 4, Captain. No more underground view. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, somebody's been puking. Call the doctor. Call the doctor. There we go. Clean that right up for you. Much better. And let's see. What can we build now? Don't have to see the rides anymore. I wonder how many people have already purchased my overpriced umbrellas. Apparently one guy has, two people. I see two, I see three, I see four. Umbrellas everywhere. Okay, we're also gonna need to put down some trash cans, but we're gonna build rides first because rides are what keep people in the park and bring in more people. How do we have scrambled eggs? I do not see a scrambled eggs in the vicinity. I shall place one right about now. A little bit of a line, not too much. Uh, I don't like that. We're going to change that. I'm going to get real OCD about it. We'll keep the price at a dollar. Dollar make me holla. Go with the circus tent, and let's give it a little bit of music. Apparently, there is a gentle style of music. I've never heard of this genre. I guess it could be a sub-genre, like gentle rock or something. I don't know. Oh, these are cool. Space rings? I don't think we've dealt with these yet. Got on some space rings. I'm going to leave some room here towards the entrance so we can build something cool like a roller coaster. I'm going to put some of my not-so-thrilling rides kind of off somewhere else. We'll give a little bit of space for a line. Not too much. Just a little. Just a little bit of space. Our pathing has changed, so I shall change as well. Let's see, space rings, nothing really major that we can tweak about these. Yeah, apparently 50 cents is as much as the default is, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now so we can get some people in the door. I want my park to have great value, because that is the whole point. 
the stage. We need that, and it needs to be clean. And we need to spend a lot of money building shit. Just kind of throwing down our bare necessities. Our simple bare necessities. There's another bare necessity. Some haunted house. And... What else can I place? Oh, we got some drinks. We need drinks. People are going to get thirsty real quick. All this puking and nonsense. So we're definitely going to want one over here by the Costa. Put it right at the exit. Great place to do some marketing. Some of that over there. And we'll put down some more over... Someplace like something similar to there. And maybe right down here. That should be sufficient. I should probably build one more kiosk somewhere towards the back here, and that's what we'll do. Stick it right there. So we have info kiosk. Plenty of utilitarian things in our park now. Utilities. And what else might we build? We got some money. I guess we could build some sort of simplified roller coaster. I've got another design coming. What's the date? Okay, it's still a little ways away. Open for some shuttle cars. Let's build one of these. Let's build a custom. Because that is how we roll these days. We like to have fun. I can go right over the top. Ah, oh, man. That didn't work. What if I raise this up a little bit? I don't know how high I'll need to go, but it might work out. It'd be kind of cool if I could just make it go right through the center here. And it worked. Uh, how many mechanics do we have? Okay, we're going to want more than that. No. Because when one thing breaks, usually there's like five more things that break right after it, as we know by now. Three should hold us down as soon as I start getting some messages. Otherwise, then we'll change it at that point. Too steep. Too high. Probably should not drop it too quickly. I'm gonna keep it simple so I don't have to rebuild everything. I'll just make it slope up a little bit. Kinda like this. Keep it short and sweet. Because that's what pays the bills in this game. And that will free us up to make fun things later. Kind of like that craziness we made at the end of the previous level that no one rode. But you know what? It was worth a try, damn it. That's not going to go into the station. That isn't going to work either. I believe this toilet might get in our way. We're just going to do a little drop. Right into the station. Short and sweet, and I'll bet you the people will love it. We'll probably be able to build something else that kind of runs through it as well, so that'll add to the thrill. The thrill and excitement. What can we build? Can we build it? Yes, we can! Do I have rocket ships? Yeah, I have rocket ships. I don't care for the ladybug. I'm too cool for that. Too cool for ladybugs. And so are you. 
You're too cool for ladybugs. Trust me, you're too cool. Huh. It's actually a gray swan down there. Clever. Oh man, oh man. It's really short, so we'll be able to get people in and out of the ride quickly. It's not too fast either, so people should love it. Oh man. Oh geez, that was close. But it just barely made it over the hill. Probably could have made it a little more exciting, but you know we need some we need some kitty coasters. The little tykes that look exactly like the old tykes. You know how it is. And with it being so short, we can probably stand and have a fairly long line, kind of like that. Make sure we see our supports. Huh. How's intensity high? Really? Oh well. It has medium excitement, and medium is okay with me. I cannot see what's going on. I don't like that. Let's do it this way. to ride by the entrance again. Sorry, OCD. You're going to have to deal with it this time. Open her up. With nausea being as low as it is, we should be okay. However, let's go ahead and make sure our handyman is patrolling the area. I don't want people puking on my lawn. You damn you to gender creatures. Get off my lawn. What the hell was that guy walking around on the lawn? I'm not crazy. This guy's walking on the lawn. Get over here. Where is, where is your post? Where is your post, soldier? You're in the wrong place. There you go. Now you're in the right place. At the right time. Everybody's doing their job, and everybody makes money. Let's see, do we have an entrance fee? We do not. That is good. Ooh, let's see. There's nobody getting on. Get on this thing. I just opened it. It's a new coaster. Bow before me. All right, let's run a campaign for it, then. Roller coaster one. Six weeks. Go. Is it too expensive? Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's probably way too expensive for these people. Because it is only a four uh, excitement rating. So I have to keep the fees low on that one. But that's okay. It should pay for itself. Because people always like coasters. They're always more exciting than everything else. Okay, let's see through everything again while we wait for some more rides to unveil themselves. Uh, so we can throw down a few tr more trash cans. I'm not going to put them everywhere like I normally do, but I'm going to put a few down. Because we're going to need them. So people don't throw shit all over the floor. Like they've been doing. Have to make it convenient for them. These are lazy Americans. They do not know how to locate trash can. Why do you do this to us? Why do you devalue my park? With your junk. So that shouldn't prove it as my guys wander around and clean up what's already there. And these messy, messy people. Gonna want more benches too. There's not a lot of benches in this park. And with great trash can comes great responsibility, so we're also gonna need police officers to maintain them. I think that was the line, right? From Spider-Man. 
with great trash can comes great responsibility. Something like that. Something in those lines? Yeah, something something within those lines. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. That will do, Junkie. That will do. Time four. Some more seats. Seats everywhere. Sometimes people just gotta take a break. You know, man, just chill out. Just chill out, smoke some grass. Wish I could just play like reggae music anywhere that there are benches. Why is there no reggae soundtrack in this, you know? Just being able to play reggae music from your roller coaster. It's better than like gentle music. Just give me some reggae. That'd be pretty gentle. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Now it's time for the popo hiring. And we're not gonna give them very much terrain. It's actually probably too much right there. Otherwise, they will not be effective. I find with the police, you really gotta give them a very finite amount of space to work with. And then they shall protect your tiny investments that you don't want to go back and manually fix. 